Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We are going to drain the Truma Aqua Go and do a winterization using air. Now since we're in Vegas, it doesn't really freeze here. It may be it may go down to 32 one or two days, maybe three. And even then, it's only for a couple of hours. And then after that, it goes back above the 30s to 40s most of the day. So, but the only reason I'm doing is because the Truma Aquago has a small tank in it. And I don't want to blow out this small tank that's right here. So we're going to follow the instructions, draining the water. I'm supposed to pull this, but before I pull this, the water is hot. So we're going to turn everything off. We turn the inside off first, and then we turn the outside off. So we are turning the propane off, and we're turning this in the off position. Okay, it's in the off position. Go back outside. I'm going to turn the power off. And according to the instruction manual, we are going to turn on the hot water in all the faucets. Okay, what this does is so that when we pull so when we drain the tank it just makes sure that there is no hot water that will burn us nope it's still warm Now there's a drain pipe that empties all of this to the outside. And I don't see any other knobs in here. <sighs> okay, everything is off. We're going to go pull that lever that's outside. <laughs> Depressurized vent water system. Okay, I really don't know what I'm doing. So, don't, these are not the how to, this is how I do. <laughs> All right, according to this, we lift this up and we turn this. Water inlet filter. There's a filter in there. Which is this thing. We take that out. And then we can rinse it. doesn't need rinsing. Okay, we're supposed to check the O-rings, which are here and here. And they look fine. So now we put this thing back. Okay, the, the, little, the little tank is empty, which is a good thing. We don't want this breaking. 
and put it back. Top. Oh. And then we close it. And that's it. Oh. All right. I guess that's all we do. Well, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> and turn off the propane. <laughs> okay, I did do a black tank flush before I did any of this. The the gray tank is still full because it's going to drain down anyway. So, or 90% full. Anyway, I got the pump out okay the low point for the hot and cold is down here somewhere where is it there it is there it is way 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 there under the tire oh. okay I bought one of these things it's plastic and I just screwed it onto the tip of the tire pressure Thing. This is set at 45 PSI. Screw it on. I've never done this before, so this is all new to me. Turn it on. PSI at 45. PSI I got all the sinks. I'm not really sure about the washer dryer, but I didn't freeze last year. I'm more concerned about the Puma tank. So there's no more water coming out from anywhere. We are going to leave the low tank open. step into this winterization thing I do pour down this pink stuff into the drains of the sinks to get the water out
the shower. That's my winterization. Okay, I'm just using air. It only goes down to maybe 31, 32 here, two, three, two to three days a year. So my main concern right now is that I will probably be bringing Wanda up to Jason and Kingman in late January because I did not realize that <laughs> Airstream Las Vegas does a rally once a month and I'd like to do some of them but I can't because Wanda uh, there's so many things wrong with Wanda right now this year's road trip has been hard on her start putting stuff away thank you for watching bye